Hey guys, it's Mark here from cloudbike.co.uk. Uh, this is just a quick uh, update video for anybody who's watched the Dal Inspire on 15R unboxing video that I did uh, a few months ago now. At that time, I did record two other videos one showing gaming and one showing uh, all the bloatware that Dal installed. And I've also had a lot of questions regarding this, so I've managed to find these videos that I did, and here they are. So, this one is the what you can uninstall from your brand new DAL Inspiron 15R okay so this is just going through any uh, all the bloatware that comes with it it is a little bit of a rant so I'm sorry about that um, but yeah I was a bit shocked really to see how much rubbish DAL actually install so if you want to see the gaming one uh, there'll be an annotation you'll see now uh, and just click that and you can see uh, how it performs in Modern Warfare 2 Alright guys, thanks for watching. We've got Adobe Flash, fair enough, okay, so we will want Flash, I'd have installed that anyway. The Catalyst Control Center, yeah. Dal Local Backup, don't need. Dal Data Safe Online, don't need. There's that stupid dock, we don't need. Dal Support Center, we don't need. The webcam thing, you do need for get the webcam work. We'll need that probably for the card. I don't know why we need that for the wireless card, to be honest, because Surely it's just a driver. Go to assist, we don't need. There's all these rubbish Intel things. Java, live cam, uh, avatar creator, whatever that is. There's McAfee or McAfee, however you want to say it. Office, and that's like the starter edition of Office. Rubbish. Uh, Silverlight, which, yeah, okay, I suppose you may need. All these. Runtime things. Oh, I don't know what that is. Quick set sixty four. Roxio burn. I th why do you need a, a burning program when Windows can do it built in? I just do not know. That's for the trackpad, I believe. Wild tangent games. I remember Wild Tangent ages ago, and I swear that it used to come with a bit of spyware years ago. I'm talking now. I'm not saying Wild Tangent does now, and I'm not saying Wild Tangent ever did, but I remember something. And you got your Windows Live Essentials, and oh, and it's missed a lot of the, the Live Essentials off. It's just absolutely pointless. Let's get rid of that. Stardock. It's made by Stardock. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Woohoo! There you go. So, uh, you can't even get rid of something. <laughs> okay. So when people moan about Windows causing errors, it's not Windows. It's the rubbish people put on Windows. Look at this. 